Who's given you time to think? Come with us. This is Carlos Delight, a native of the county I'm exploring today. As you can see, not only is she beautiful, but she's also known to be hardy and well balanced. Just the sort of characteristics anyone needs to escape to the country. In today's show, I'll be helping a couple to leave busy suburban life behind and find their dream home in the country. Oh, I could cry. I'll be showing them some properties that will hopefully cause quite a splash. I'll have to learn to swim now, won't I? <laughs> you can't swim. I can only do talky paddle. <laughs> <laughs> and let's not forget the mystery house. So will they decide to stump up the cash on any one of these country homes? Well, today I'm in Wales, and to be precise, the glorious county of Powys, home to many of the country's finest breeds of Welsh pony. As you can see, the landscape is particularly rugged, and these guys are very, very well suited to it. It's also said that the great Julius Caesar, the Roman Emperor, was so impressed by many of the native breeds of pony that he found in these isles when he invaded, that he had some taken back to Rome with him. But as for me and Carlos Delight here, I think we'll stay in Wales. Come on. Powys is surrounded by 13 Welsh counties and bordered in the east by the English counties of Herefordshire and Shropshire. It's the largest county in Wales, covering a quarter of its landmass and is a haven for walkers with over 5,700 miles of public footpaths. If you want to escape from the madding crowd, Powys is your place. It's the least crowded county in England and Wales. As a result, there's some stunning local rural scenery to enjoy including the beautiful Brecon Beacons National Park. The hills are scattered with working farms and tiny hamlets, so it's an ideal place for finding a slower pace of life. Housing stock varies across the county, from grand Victorian houses to rural slate-roofed stone-built cottages. With Jane and Jeff keen to explore the great outdoors and get some canine companions, I've brought them to meet the volunteers of the Central Beacons Mountain Rescue Team. Peter and Mike are experienced members of the team, as is Corrie, who's been on the job for over five years. Peter. Hello. Nice to see you, sir. Hi. How are you? Mike, sure. nice to meet you. Let me introduce you to Jane Jeff. and to Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, now, these two intrepid house hunters are thinking of moving to this part of Wales. They also want a dog. So we thought, what better way to produce a kind of combination of interest than to come and see you guys at Mountain Rescue? Why not? Why not? Now, who have we got? Who's the star of the show here? Star of the show. This is Collie. She's a five year old border Collie. Hello. Hello, oh, Now, is this the sort of thing you were thinking about in terms yeah. of dogs? Yeah, yeah my she's... parents have border Collies and they're lovely. Yeah, yeah she's lovely. What about it, Jeff? Come on. Well, Volunteer have... for the Mountain Rescue? I'd have to hone my directional skills, I think, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might learn a thing or two from Collie today. <laughs> now, presumably to train her, you, as you say, you send people out. Today, we need a kind of willing volunteer, don't we? I'm sure we'll find someone somewhere. A dog's body. Yeah, yeah that's, dog's body. that's me. I've been a dog's body many times. <laughs> so, Peter, you're going to go off and get lost, as it were. Yes, yes. And we can accompany Mike and see how Corrie does it. Brilliant. There you go. Right, right. sir. Good. We hopefully will see you later. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> All rescue volunteers must go through a nine month intensive training programme, and that includes dogs too. Mike started training Corrie when she was just 10 weeks old. So sniffing out lost and injured people in the Welsh mountains is now second nature to her. We've given Peter a good head start, and now it's time for Corrie to sniff him out. The rescue team of 54 volunteers and five dogs responded to around 90 distress call-outs over the past year. Oh, God. Well, you wanted to go walking, guys. <laughs> I think you do need a dog you can keep up with. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up with Corrie. <laughs> Ah, result. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. Oh. Good. Well, congratulations to Corey. Good. How are you, Peter? Very well. Yes, good, good. <laughs> Very happy to see the dog, no doubt. Yes, indeed. So, what did you think of that performance? Yeah. I thought that was great, good, yeah. yeah. So, are Collie still on the cards? Collie. Collie and a Joe Russell. Yeah. Okay. Collie and a Joe Russell, there you go. Well, one can find the other then. <laughs> well, Jane and Jeff certainly seem sold on Corey. Maybe tomorrow our search will take us closer to finding their perfect country home. <laughs> <laughs> 